this experiment, we're going to look at predict, observe, explain, which is a teaching strategy to probe understanding using three tasks, predict, which means that students will have to predict the outcome to an event or an experiment. Then observe, students will perform an experiment or observe an experiment and record the observations that they see. And lastly, explain. So students will have to look at their prediction, compare it to what they observed and see if there any consistency or inconsistency in what happened. They will then have to explain, explain what happened or further explore. So in this experiment that we're going to model, the predict, observe, explain, we're going to ask what will happen if I light a tea bag on fire? And there'll be three options and in teams students will have to choose which one of these options is the one that they're going to predict will happen. So the three options are the tea bag burns with a green flame, the tea bag does not burn, does not start burning. The third option, the tea bag rises into the air and starts flying. So that's the prediction. The next one is observe. So we're going to observe, we're going to perform or demo this experiment and students are going to observe what will happen. So here I have just a tea bag. I'm going to pull it apart so that I can get the cylinder. There's tea leaves in it, we don't need those, so we'll put those in the bin. And you'll be left with a cylinder. Now you need to stand the cylinder up straight. We might cut the base just so it's level. And we're going to light the tea bag and students will observe. So now students observe what happened and they can see that it lifted from the, the tree at the bottom when it was on fire. So the last task they need to do is explain, explain what happened. So they compare their prediction to their observation and if there was any inconsistency, they can further explore. But if they got it right, they also need to explain what happened. So in this case, we had a cylinder and we lit the top on fire. As it was on fire, it heated the air molecules inside the cylinder and that caused the molecules inside to expand and move quickly and become less dense. And as it become less dense, it rose up above the cool, de dense air that replaced it in a convectional current.